this is external rotation, internal rotation, and adduction. These are um, rotator cuff and scapula stabilizing exercises. You can do these either with a band, or in our case, we're gonna use a cable system. So the first thing you wanna do, whether it's band or cable, is make sure that the uh, level of the uh, pulley is at the um, athlete's elbow height. So in this case, we're gonna bump that up a notch, and we're gonna start with external rotation. The other thing you're gonna need is a towel roll, um, small pillow, just something to put under the arm to maintain that adducted position. And then we're gonna have the patient start, or the athlete start with their hand right in the middle of their body. And you wanna maintain a 90 degree uh, angle at the elbow, and you wanna maintain an erect or upright posture while you're doing this. And then when he starts pulling, he's gonna pull out as far as he possibly can, get the full range of motion, and then back into the belly. So we're gonna do 10 repetitions here, and point out a couple of other things. Again, make sure you keep that upright posture throughout the entirety of the exercise. Keep that 90 degrees at the elbow, and then the middle of the body or the belly is the starting and ending point for this exercise. We want that full range of motion, no reason to stop anywhere. All right, so that's external rotation. All right, our next exercise is internal rotation. This is the powerful muscle that um, assists in throwing the ball harder. Um, again, a scapular stabilizer, um, and, and this is almost the exact opposite. So when we started with external rotation, we were facing the opposite direction. All we do is spin around. Again, everything's lined up so that that pulley's at elbow height. And again, elbow at 90 degrees, up nice and tall posture, and then he's gonna pull in to the middle of the be belly. All right, and again, we started with a full range of motion, so as far externally rotated as we can get with that towel roll in place, pulling in, letting it go back out. The speed of the exercise is important. Um, we don't want momentum doing the work, we want um, the muscle to do the work. It doesn't have to be slow, it just has to be controlled. Okay, that's internal rotation. Now, we're gonna move right into adduction, so we don't need that towel roll anymore. And the setup here is just to grab a hold of the cable, step away so the weight's away, or if you're using tubing, you, um, you're gonna to wanna to, um, have a little bit of tension on it. Let me have it back up just a little bit. All right, so palm is in a down position to start. And again, upright posture for this exercise. And you're gonna pull straight down to the thigh and back out. Again, control. I don't mind if the speed is at a good pace as long as it's being controlled. Um, a common mistake people make with this is they'll pull either past the front of their thigh or past the back of their thigh. We wanna go right to the thigh. And then resistance is completely up to you. With all, of, all three of these exercises, I want it to be challenging to perform, but I don't want it to be a struggle. I don't want you to, to strain to get to the end of the motion. Um, so just enough weight to make it a challenge. 10 repetitions of each exercise, and then go back and do a second set of 10 repetitions of each, 10 repetitions of each exercise.